Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Uh, we're going to be focusing now on gold, specifically uh, ticker symbol GLD, the gold futures ETF. Okay, looking at the daily chart based on Friday's trading. Okay, as a result of Friday's trading, uh, we had a white body that occurred because prices closed higher than they opened. In the past 10 bars, there have been six white up candles and four black down candles for a net of two white up candles. Though in the past 50 bars, there have been 33 white up candles and 17 black down candles for a net of 16 white up candles. Uh, a doji star occurred where a doji gaps above or below the previous candle. As you can see here, we gapped above Thursday's candle. And this often signals a reversal with confirmation occurring on the next bar. The next bar will be on Monday, tomorrow's trading. We also have a rising window occurrence where the top of the previous shadow is below the bottom of the current shadow. This usually implies a continuation of a bullish trend. And there have been eight rising windows in the last 50 candles. This makes the current rising window even more bullish. Now, three white candles occurred in the last three days. Although these candles were not big enough to create three white soldiers, the steady upward pattern is bullish for the GLD. Switching over to the swing index. Pulse scan reading is at 13.15, swing VIX at 14.61. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX three periods ago. The trend channel is down. This means that negative momentum has entered into the market. So we could expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days. The last signal was an overbought sell 29 periods ago. Since the swing VIX crossed its moving average, the uh, gold GLD has increased in price by 1.08% and it ranged from a high of $123.13 a share to a low of $119.77 per share. Currently the trend is very bullish and the trend momentum reading is also very bullish. We're trading above all three moving averages, long term, intermediate, and short term. As for trend strength, the market is trending, so we have bullish strength. As for volatility, we close below the upper band by 4.7%. However, we're still uh, consolidated uh, within the trend, even though we are closer to breaking to the upside because we're trading um, right beneath, literally, the upward part of the band. Uh, as far as entry points, we do not have recommended entry points uh, for tomorrow. However, our intraday price projections for tomorrow are as follows. Resistance at 122.98 and support at 122.63. Uh, we will watch for a close below 119.77. If we get that, then that would uh, indicate a trend reversal. If we get a close tomorrow above 123.50, then that would um, confirm an explosive continuation breakout rally. And sky's the limit. So we'll be watching for that. Um, I am not I'm doing anything with equities at the moment. My main focus is in Forex. So that's where, where I'm um, putting my money. Uh, but for those of you who are looking for a play in the GLD for possibly for tomorrow, uh, I would be comfortable, if I were going to trade this, I would be comfortable actually putting an order in to go long at 123.50 and using the uh, 119.77 as, uh, as a stop and reverse. And I would leave the profit target open. And toward the close of tomorrow, or on the close, move your stop to break even if the market has moved in your favor. And that's how I would play that. All right. That's all we have on GLD.
Moving over to the GDX now, um, we have a white body occurrence on Friday because prices close higher than they open. In the past 10 bars, there have been seven white up candles and three black down candles for a net of four white up candles on the gold miners, ticker symbol GDX. During the past 50 bars, there have been 26 white up candles and 22 black down candles for a net of four white up candles. Three white candles occurred in the last three days, although these candles were not big enough to create three white soldiers, the steady upward pattern for the GDX is bullish. In addition to that, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. However, the pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX three periods ago. Therefore, we have a uh, trend channel that 